Hello everyone and welcome to Cathy Carols. I hope that you've managed to grab yourself a drink and a seasonal mince pie or perhaps we've been good you can always have a little nectarine. In today's Cathy Carols we're going to be listening to some different carols so make sure that you've brought your best voice and we're going to be hearing a message from Mandy and Graham and the Pathfinders are going to uh, show us a little video of something that they've been doing. So sit back and enjoy. Thank you. 
Do you ever feel lonely like you are all wrapped up looking outward? Purpose. Life can be like waiting for something to happen. Identity. Do you ever feel people only see the wrapping, not the real you? Destiny. Do you ever want to break free? Morality. Don't rules just bind us into something we're not? Jesus made you as a gift to the world. Meaning, purpose, identity, destiny, morality. These are summed up in the person of Jesus. This reading is from Isaiah, chapter 9, verses 2, 6 and 7. Now those people live in great darkness, but they will see a great light. They will live in a place that is very dark, but a light will shine on them. A child will be born to us. God will give a son to us, who will be responsible for leading the people. His name will be Wonderful Counselor, Powerful God, Father who lives, lives forever, Prince of Peace. Power and peace will be in his kingdom. He will continue to grow. It will continue to grow. He will rule as a king on David's throne and over David's kingdom. He will make it strong by ruling with goodness and fair judgment. He will rule it forever and ever. The Lord of heaven's armies will do so because of his strong love for his people. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the words that I say be the words that God wants you to hear. As I record this, Mariah Carey's song, All I Want for Christmas, is number one in the UK singles chart. If it stays there, it will be the first Christmas number one since 2004 that actually has a Christmassy title. The song was originally released in 1994, but only made it to number two in the charts. I know I'm starting to sound like a radio DJ, but bear with me. When I read an article about the song, what struck me was the feeling that Mariah Carey was trying to create. She co-wrote the song in the summer, in the middle of New York, at a time when she was quite unhappy, partly because of the pressure of increasing fame and partly because of a difficult personal relationship. In an interview with the BBC, she said that she wanted to write a song that would make me happy and make me feel like a loved, carefree young girl at Christmas. She said, I wanted to sing it in a way that would capture joy for everyone and crystallize it forever. This has been a pretty rubbish year for most of us. Many of us have felt, maybe we still feel, that we're living in a very dark place. And many of us would like something to make us happy, to capture a bit of joy at Christmas. We'd like to see some light at the end of the tunnel. We'd like to live in a world where power and peace go together, where our rulers are good and love their people, where all judgments are fair, where there's justice for all and nobody suffers unnecessarily. 
The words in the book of Isaiah were written for a particular nation at a specific time, but they're just as relevant for us today. We apply those words to Jesus. The people of the time would have thought about an earthly ruler. But the names the prophet gives to the king who is to come reflect the nature of the God who sends him. God is a wonderful counsellor and powerful God the one with the plan and the power to put it into action. God is the Father who lives forever, loving and caring for God's people. God is the one who brings peace. Rather than look to human governments and structures and policies and people to bring our ideal world about, maybe we should look to God. When we celebrate Christmas, we don't just remember the birth of baby Jesus as though that's something that happened in isolation. We also think of the life and teaching of the grown-up Jesus, the one who showed us and taught us what a ruler who lives their life in tune with the wishes of that sort of God might be like. Mariah Carey wanted her song to make people happy. But joy goes much deeper than just happiness. Joy comes from finding and living out meaning, purpose, identity, destiny and morality, as the pathfinders showed us. These are the tidings of comfort and joy that Christmas brings. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. It's not about presents, or Christmas trees, or mistletoe. It's not even about family and friends. All we really want for Christmas is Jesus, the gift that God has already sent us. I wish you every joy and blessing for Christmas and beyond. Amen. Our Father in heaven, let your name remain holy. Bring about your kingdom. Manifest your will here on earth as it is manifest in heaven. Give us each day that day's bread, no more, no less. And forgive us our debts as we forgive those who owe us something. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let your kingdom be, and let it be powerful and glorious forever. Amen.
we hope that you've enjoyed this time of singing carols with us and all that's left to say is Merry Christmas.